We did it for you. Here's what you need to know with Amy and Sean on 1027 VGS. First, it was Texas Station and Fiesta Henderson. Now, Fiesta Rancho getting the bulldozer treatment. Station casinos again knocking down the hotel tower yesterday. Much of the property planned to be demoed, but the ice rink should survive. Oh, that's cool. Which is good. Yeah, that is good. Isn't that really? I mean, if they if they knock that down, there wouldn't be an ice rink for. Like, I mean, no, because I know there's. The one on uh, Flamingo in 215. Yeah, that's uh, that's the um, Las Vegas Ice Center. Uh-huh. And then you have the practice facility for the Knights. Right. And then you have Lifeguard Arena. And then you have that one. And I think there's one more. There's not a lot, but though. There's not. Not no. enough sheets of ice, especially for all the kids that are playing hockey right now. So that's good. At least that stays. Uh, hey, get a love when an alleged fight ends up in the Nevada Supreme Court. But that's what's happening back in 2021, January. As a matter of fact, Las Vegas Councilwomen Victoria Seaman and Michelle Fiore were allegedly involved in a physical altercation. Seaman accused Fiore of assault and battery. She sued Fiore and the city, not just for the altercation, but also destroying security video of the alleged attack. Oh, my gosh. Um, okay. The city's been trying to get out of the lawsuit and district court struck that down. So the city is going to ask the biggest court in the state to take up the situation and remove the city from the lawsuit. Councilwoman Seaman, she's still on the city council. Michelle Fiore is ironically a justice of the peace in Nye County. That's fine. Wow. Mm. That's a lot. Drum, man. Yeah, Drum. that is a lot. <sighs> hey, uh, you know, a uh, housing market, we all know it's kind of cooled off a bit. Mm-hmm. Well, home sales from February to March jumped 37%. Median price of a home is down 8% compared to last March, but still seems like we may have hit the bottom. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, we'll see what happens. Yeah. We've seen far worse. <laughs> so, yeah, we have. I hope this is it. Yeah, hopefully it you is. You can uh, stop now. Did you, did you or did you get caught up in the... No, we hadn't bought yet. See, I remember when I moved here, no, so if I had any money whatsoever, I would have purchased because I was like, wow, they're so cheap compared mm-hmm. to where I'm from. Uh-huh. Uh, no. <laughs> they could get cheaper, Sean. Yeah. And, they, you know, and I, they did. I got back right in the middle of that. I'm like, okay, well, mm-hmm. should, the, my, my biggest regret in life is not having bought 10 of them. Yeah. My entire subdivision was going for 120 grand and they're all worth 400 mm-hmm. now. God. I know. My my parents bought the perfect time and I, I forget what year it was, like 11, I think. When, or when was it? I don't remember, but they bought the perfect time. <laughs> if you look at their house. You yeah. know, I just, I want to have done something where people, if they ever write about me, automatically think the word mogul. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> Yeah, a real estate mogul. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> no, yeah. I could have been a mogul. Yeah. Uh, you know, the worst part of schools is the testing. Assembly Bill 296 hopes to address that in front of the Assembly Education Committee in Carson City right now would cap the amount of time spent on prepping for exams and assessments uh, at just 2% of their time. The rest of the time would be used for learning. Mm. This would unfortunately not affect Ooh, state and federal fun, uh, um, um, testing. Uh, do you remember... You were required to do it. The the, the the no child left behind. You had to do the standardized test thing. Yeah, we had to do, um, oh gosh, uh, what were they called? I remember what they were in Massachusetts. Every state has their own version of this. It was the MCAS in Massachusetts. I didn't have to pass it. I was the last year that didn't have to pass it, but we had to take it. We had to get a 65 or above yeah. to go, move on yeah. to graduate. Yeah, And and so they they the entire year is taking these modules that will help you pass this stupid test. It's like, I'm learning only how to pass this test. Yeah. What the heck were mine called? I forget, but... It's okay. It's good. It can't hurt you anymore. Right. Yeah. We should try see if we can get some of those questions in here and see how you do. I know. We don't. We didn't retain any of that. I know. Nothing. I for sure did not. Uh, the lineup for EDC just announced David Guetta, Afro, Jack, Zed, among many, many, many others. I mean, when you have to use size three font, <laughs> you know it's a big uh-huh. show. Over half a million people expected at Las Vegas Motor Speedway for the concert May 19th through 21st, and there are still some tickets available. Uh, in sports, VGK, uh, you love to see it. Some of the most obnoxious fans in L.A. Kings knocked down 5-2 last night at the Fortress, putting up four in the first period alone. Good for you, Knights. They face the Stars in Dallas tomorrow afternoon. Only three, I believe, regular season games left for the VGK. Crazy. XFL's Vegas Vipers fresh off their win. 
kick off their three-game road trip to end the season tomorrow with a game against the St. Louis Battlehawks. That game airs at 1 p.m. Saturday on ESPN. Uh, weather, mix of sun and clouds, mid-70s today, 80s for Easter weekend, and 90 on Monday. The record is 91. Wow. 